Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today, we are going to learn how to organize our code into modules and packages like how we do it in Python. To understand module packages, we first need to understand module modules. So a module is essentially a file that includes code for other files to use by importing it. So let's see an example. Uh, let's. I'm currently in the main.mojo file, but let's create a new file called my pair.mojo. This is going to be our module. Okay, so it's another mojo file, but this is a module. So let's define a struct called pair. And we have a first, which is an int, and our second, which is also an int. Let's first deal with integers for now. and to uh, simplify this. And let's define our constructor and then uh, in out self first, which is an int, and second, which is also an int. And self.first equal first, self.second equal second. Okay, so basically we set first to whatever we pass in for this and second to, what a, to whatever we pass in for this, okay? And now for this struct, also let's define a dump function that basically prints out our pair. So self dot first, self dot second. So we can see what our pair looks like. Now let's write this. So essentially what we have done is that we define a module that defines a pair struct, okay? Uh, notice that this module, we don't see a main function like we do in the main.mojo file. So we can't actually execute our code. Um, this is the same for many compiled languages where the main function is the entry point for program execution. Um, so we have to import this module into another file with a main function so we can use it. Uh, this is, uh, so let's see how we can do that. So we have our main function here. And so far I only have help print hello YouTube, right? Okay, so now let's define a pair, right? Let my pair equal pair. Let's do one and two. So you see an error here because we don't know what pair is in this file. We can't access pair in this other file. So we have to import it. Oops. So let's import that really quick from my pair import pair. So basically what we have done is that we import pair from the my pair.mojo file here. And now we can use it to define a pair, which takes in two integers, right? First and second. And then we set those numbers. We set first and uh, we set one and two. Um, we, we set first and second to one and two respectively. Okay. And notice I'm using let here, which means that it's constant. We won't be changing this in the future. Um, this might be counterintuitive if you're familiar with JavaScript, but the let keyword in Mojo makes this a constant. Okay, um, now let's see my pair dot dump, right? Let's see what this looks like. Sorry, you don't actually need this semicolon at the end, but you could include it, okay. Now let's run it. We can just do mojo main dot mojo in the terminal and we get one and two. Okay, so dot dump pretty much just prints it out for us. Okay, and alternatively, we could also delete this line and we can just do my pair dot pair. Uh, Let's see, oh no, my pair. Oh, sorry, we could do import my pair, right? After we import my pair, we can just do my pair dot pair, right? 
So if you have a lot of functions or uh, if you have a lot of structs or functions defined in um, the my pair .mojo file, you could just use one import line and then um, use my pair .pair like this, right? Uh, we can also create an alias for the imported member just like in Python. So I could do import my pair as MP and then down here we can just do mp up here and this will also work so let's run it boom one and two so this also works awesome so i hope you guys understand what modules are in mojo now and how they work so let's talk about packages now so what is a mojo package uh, a mojo package is just a collection of mojo modules in a directory that includes a init.mojo file. So your file structure might look something like this. You have your main.mojo file up there and you have this directory called uh, my package. You can name it whatever, right? Whatever the package name is. And in here, you have to set a init.mojo file in order to let Mojo know that this directory is a package. And inside this directory, you can define several modules, like my pair, for example. That's a module we can define. And you can define several, as many as you want down here. Okay. Um, so the init.mojo file is actually crucial because if you delete it, then Mojo doesn't recognize the directory as a package. So now let's see how this works in code. So I'm back in VS Code. Let's create a folder called my package. And inside here, let's do init.mojo. So we have a init.mojo file. Let's write it. And inside there, we also have, uh, let's just move my pair into my package. Okay, so now it's in my package. Okay. Now, how can we use my pair now that it's in my package, right? My pair is now in my package folder. So what we could do is that from my package dot my pair import pair. So what we have done is that we're importing my pair from my package. And then we're importing the pair function from my pair, which is the module. Okay. Now let's use that. Let my pair equal pair one and two. Let's see. A crash happened with the mojo parser. Okay, so this is an unexpected error. Uh, this shouldn't be happening, but so ignore this error for now. Um, let's just continue. So my pair don't. don't. Um, this should theoretically work, but it something is wrong with mojo let's see if we can run it so we can run it just fine it prints out one and two so this does work so i guess it's an error with the um, error system here so basically what you have to know is that the init.mojo uh, file allows us to recognize the directory as a package thereby allowing us to import the module my pair inside the main.module uh, file. Now, let's say we don't want the my package source code in the same location as main.module. We can compile it into a package using this in our terminal. Mojo package, my package, which is the name of our directory, uh, dash o, uh, whatever name we want the .mojo pkg file to be named. So in this case, I'm naming it my pack. And then we end up with dot mojo pkg, which stands for mojo package. Okay, then, um, so your, you, your code, your file structure will look something like this, main dot mojo, and then you will have a my pack dot uh, mojo pkg. And let's see how we can use it, right? So I'm back in VS Code. Let's run the commands. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but we can run mojo package, my package, and then dash O, 
my pack dot module pkg. So as you can see here, we have a my pack dot module pkg file, and let's use that right in our. Uh, let's delete this in our main dot module file. We can do from my pack dot my pair import pair. So as you can see, that didn't give us any errors, so it works. So the, my pack dot module pkg is different from my package. My pack is this dot module pkg file, and inside we are accessing my pair, which is this file, and then we import pair inside of my uh, my pair. Okay, now let's use that, right? Um, let my pair equal pair one and two. And let's do my pair dot dump to see what we have. And let's run it. Boom, one and two. So this works just fine. And we have a single dot mojo pkg file that does the same thing as my package. So what is the benefit of using dot mojo pkg, right? Well, you can share it with other people. So you can literally just send the file to someone else and they can run it. So it's really easy to use. And if you don't want my package, uh, this directory to be in the same location as main dot mojo, you can just compile it into a dot mojo pkg file. Okay. Um, just an important note here, if you want to modify the name of the dot mojo pkg file, uh, after you compiled it, right? Um, you actually cannot simply edit the name of this file because the package name is encoded in, in the file. So if I change this to uh, pack dot mojo pkg, this will still run because it's technically still uh, my pack, right? So you can't just change the name that way. You have to uh, run module package again to specify the new name of the dot module pkg file. Okay. Um, so now you might be wondering, can we write any code in the init dot module file since it's currently empty, right? And the answer is yes, we are going to see what we can use it for. So let's add the following line in our mojo init dot module file from dot my pair import pair. So we're importing pair from my pair, which is in the same directory as init dot mojo. Okay. Now, what does this actually do? Well, if we go to main dot mojo, um, so we can, let me clear this first. We can simply do from, so let's see what we had to do before, right? We had to do my package dot my pair import pair, right? This is what we had to do before, but now since we imported pair inside the init dot mojo file, we can just do my package from my package import pair. Oops, sorry, I have to save this file. Um, now it should work. Uh, package my package does not contain pair. Interesting. Let's see if this runs. Uh, sometimes VS Code can be buggy. So let's define a my pair equal pair one and two. Yep, another crash happened. Uh, I think it's something wrong with this plugin. Uh, let's just ignore that error message for now. And let's do my pair dot dump and see if this works. Let's save it. Let's clear our terminal. That did not work. Okay. Unable to locate module my pair. Um, oof. That's annoying. Um, let's see. Oh. 
Okay, so I think it's something wrong with uh, Mojo right now, because this should theoretically work according to the Mojo documentation. I'm not sure what's causing this error or how to fix it for now, but in the future, if you're watching this, just know that this should technically print out one and two. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what's causing the error. Um, okay. So I hope you guys found this video helpful, except the lot the last part maybe. Um, hopefully they'll fix that error. I will definitely report a issue to the GitHub repo. Okay. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video to be helpful and hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'll definitely be posting more Mojo videos in the future. So. If you are interested in this language so far, please like and subscribe. And yeah, hope you guys do well and see you next time. Bye.